Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Boy, here we go. There's a lot going on right now, socially, economically, in this country. A lot of things that may affect our personal finance, but how is what's going on gonna affect the price of physical silver? The physical silver's value. So I went down, talked to my local coin store owner, Phil, and talked to him a little bit about this, and he shared some of his insights. I added some more physical silver to my stack, which I will share with you guys as we go along. So let's go. Okay, so what are you what are you hearing from uh, your customers? Are they coming in buying, or the ones that are buying and the ones that are selling? Do they give you a, a, a reason why they're doing? The, what they're the doing? sellers, I've not heard anybody coming in selling at least here that because silver's up, I'm selling. It's okay. not ever been the reason. Um, they're selling because they either well, it's tax time for mm -hmm. one thing. Absolutely, uh, get that. And various other reasons that they're you know offloading some of their silver. It has nothing to do with pricing. No, I've, n nobody's come in and said I saw you know silver got over twenty five. That was my sell price, and I'm getting out of silver. That I've not heard that at all. Right. Um, you know the economy's doing not doing that bad. Of course, it's gas another is still factor. Up. You can make an argument one way or the other. Right, I suppose, exactly. You know what side of the fence you want to be on. Absolutely. If you want to die. Say the economy's going in the right direction, or you can say it's going in the wrong direction. But there's certainly um, those facts, absolutely. Yeah, there's facts that support both. Right. Those are absolutely individual circumstances, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. That's all we, it comes to that. I think overall, um, if you look at economic trends, everything's up right now, and, and silver and, and gold are both trending up. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they're near, most well, gold's obviously at its highest it's been, but silver certainly isn't. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, the market's up. Uh, there's a lot of things that are up right now, and I attribute that to simply a weaker dollar. It just takes more dollars to do the same thing. And, and you and see that when you're going out spending your money um, anywhere right mm -hmm. now. It just seems to take more of these dollars mm -hmm. to get what you need or what you want. Yes. I think the if you take the things that are all up right now, and you, you talk about, you know, I, I know real estate, there's, a, there's controversy whether it's up or down, but mm -hmm. certainly Prices are up right now. You know, land value is up right now. Stock market's up right now. Gold's up right now. Silver's up right now. I think everything that's up right now, the last standing things that'll remain up, I think, are the metals. When everything, if everything falls or crashes, I think the metals will be the one thing that stands alone as being the ones that have the, the least um, effect from a crash. Absolutely, and it's and it's going to be in demand. That's just the way yes. it is. I've seen, I've noticed that the uh, this idea of a silver shortage has kind of started to regain a little momentum. Remember, we went through that years ago where they were yeah. talking about shortage, but that because of the um, of industry with the solar panels and all this green energy, that um, maybe silver will be more in demand for industry and less available for private individuals that want to buy physical silver. But it's true that green energy is taking off. People are really into green energy. Now, have you heard anything about that or do you have an opinion on that? I think the commercial use of silver actually keeps the price of silver down. And the reason I say that is because businesses typically, you know, whatever you're making a product with, you want to keep those individual ingredients that you're making your product with down. So obviously if silver is a component of making uh, something that is, um, that you're going to put together in a component and resell, you don't want it to be extremely high because then you would have to add that to the cost of what you're selling. So I think industry in general, because it is used in industry, I think that is one of the leading factors that keeps it fairly low because you know the, the businesses want to be able to obtain silver if it's part of their part of their plan in terms of you know putting it in their product. So you would say that there's there's enough above ground silver yes. that we don't have to worry about no, it being. Don't have to worry about it. There's, there's plenty of this to go around. <laughs> right, People exactly. It's not going to go away. They're not going to they're not going to take this and this isn't enough for them to do anything with. Let's right, I got you. Know, okay, well, I got tons and tons of silver. 
and look, and they and they're they're mining yes. tons and tons of silver yes. as well. That goes directly to absolutely. Um, I heard physical silver being described as well. The, the price action right now being described as stupidly cheap. <laughs> there was a couple of people online that yeah, you know, well. you know they, so um, would you agree? I, if I heard that, I would assume that somebody says it's stupidly cheap. The fact that you should run out and buy it. That okay. would, if that's what I would assume they're meaning. Okay. The fact that it's stupidly cheap. That right. it, it'd be foolish not to load up on it if you can. Right. Um, and I think it's going to at least hold its value. And like I say, one. When the economy, when the dollar gets too weak and things start pulling back, I think silver and gold will be the few of the things that remain standing over time. They're going to hold their value or increase in value um, more so than some of the other investments that can, people can make with their dollars right now. Okay, so just to uh, sum this up, um, the Silver demand is still pretty robust as far as you're concerned. Yeah, still in demand. The premiums are lower, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. Uh, right. Premiums have come down dramatically over uh, the last year. Right. We saw what I would call stupid premiums. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, it wasn't that we were making a ton more money. We were paying those stupid premiums to mm. get the silver. Right. And then we had to average, you know, you know, normal m margins, which are very slim on silver and gold, but our normal margins on top of that. But compared to where the spot was at the time, it, mm -hmm. seemed, it was seemingly very, right. very inflated. Now those have come down in terms of where spot is and where the sell price and where you can purchase silver at in re relationship to the spot price. Um, but it's still, I think, a good investment at this dollar, at this dollar point. And so I, w I would say that, um, you know, as far as uh, silver goes, even with the premiums, we would say stupid premiums, um, they still sold. I mean, silver still sold even then. Yeah, um, and that was it, a different environment. Different, then. totally yes. different environment. Yes. I think it was a little bit yeah. more nervousness in the yes. market, that kind of thing. A lot more We had some things going on. Yeah. Um, and so they've kind of, the premiums kind of backed off a little bit, but silver's value as far as your personal finance is still pretty much. Uh, yeah, if you look back, I mean, what you can buy silver for today, even with those higher premiums, it was about where it was selling with when silver spot was lower. Mm -hmm. So you should feel a little more comfortable purchasing silver at this point because silver's basically taken a, a stand where it's it seemingly is a better buy today compared to where spot is and what you have to pay for to get it. Um, you aren't you're not worried about those premiums going away and then you being left holding, you know, an eighteen dollar um, <laughs> bar of silver, you know, when spot was eighteen and they were selling for twenty three or twenty four dollars an ounce, six dollars over spot. Um, you're not have to do that today. Um, so for buyers that are leery about going into silver right now, I think that should be alle a little bit alleviated to the point where you're buying it much closer to where spot value is, which is a defining point to where value lay lies I think in silver and gold and also with gold but at the same point if it's closer to the spot you feel a little more comfortable investing at that point you know you, there's a there's a reason as to why you're buying it at that point rather than just paying a, a, a huge premium on it so I think in that respect silver seems like a better buy today than it was earlier on with the six and seven dollar premiums even though there's premiums now but gone away and actually been eroded by spot moving up, spot price moving up. So most people they have held on to their silver certainly are sitting in a better position today. I completely and they don't agree. have to rely on the, the premium to, to get them there. Spot price has gotten them there. And I think that trend will probably continue. I'm going to ask you to do something. <laughs> uh, put you know, pull your, uh, your crystal ball out. I know this is just your opinion. Uh, nobody knows the future, but you being uh, you know, a buyer and seller of precious metals, and we're talking about silver today, and the length of time you've been doing it, do, can you see anything coming in the future, anytime soon, that may change the current atmosphere of silver price action? Do you see any trends or anything like that that um, may uh, lead you to believe any, any particular way about where silver price is gonna go, up or down? I don't think there'll be a major change one way or the other, and the reason I say that, we've gone through a lot of different economic issues, world issues, war issues, uh, trends, and if anything was going to affect it, any one of those could have, and they haven't to a significant degree, so I can't think of any, any world event or any economic issues right now that would 
would change the fact that I think silver is going to be a fairly stable, um, stable environment if you put your money in it. You know, we've seen a lot of issues that should have or could have changed where silver was headed in the, even in the last year, year, two years. Right. A lot of things have happened worldwide that should have shot silver up, it didn't. Maybe should have pulled it down, it didn't. And it's it's solid, right. and that's a good that's a good sign when it does that. Right. You know, it's stability, and that's I think what you want in a lot of where Absolutely. you put your money. I mean, it's hard to find these days. Is where do you yeah. put your money where it's stable? Yeah, even through all that, yes. what you just mm -hmm. uh, what you just said, it maintained its value. So that's uh, you know a plus. Absolutely. All right, Phil, I appreciate your time, man. I know it's been a busy day today. I walked in and was in the middle of a lot of stuff going on, but I appreciate you giving me the time. And uh, you know, we're going to look through this silver, maybe take some home. and uh, yeah. yeah, grab some and uh, just put it away. I think, like yeah. I said, I think it'll hold its value. If, if that's the, And that's really the main idea of silver and gold is right. you put, the money in, put the money in it today and it holds its value over Absolutely. time. And, uh, you know, it's there when you need it, if right. you need it down the road. You earn your money at uh, whatever profession you're in, whatever mm -hmm. job, you earn your money and you use this to protect that. Yes. All right, thanks a lot, Phil. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> we obviously have differing opinions on a lot of things, but the one thing that we do agree on is that silver is a very important thing when it comes to your financial health. Right now, physical silver is cheaper than it has been as far as the premiums go and it absolutely is a value to you now i caution you as in every video that i post is it's not for everyone because there are some things that you need to consider before you decide to get into purchasing or stacking physical silver and i've made many videos about that just go back through my library if you want to and you can see some of those videos that i posted now, I'm no expert on any of this stuff, never claim to be. I can only share with you guys from my personal experience of stacking silver for the many years that I've done it. So share with you guys what worked for me, what hasn't worked for me. And so when I make these uh, suggestions about some of the things that you need to consider before you uh, start to purchase or start a stack of physical silver, uh, it comes from personal experience, from what has worked and what hasn't worked. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.